Hello friends and welcome to NLG TV. Today we are reviewing the LG C1 after 6 months from a gamer's perspective. This CV is a high-end model that features an OLED panel. So what is an OLED panel? It's a self-illuminating pixel that doesn't need any backlight, meaning it can display true blacks unlike the LCD panels that always require a backlight, resulting to a grayish or bluish blacks. And the colors, this video doesn't do justice on how beautiful the OLED panel is. You got to see it in person. I got so used to the OLED now that whenever I go to the appliance store, all other LCD including QLED TVs look inferior. What's in it for gaming? The LG C1 TV is a 4K resolution panel that is capable of delivering through 120Hz refresh rate through HDMI 2.1. The common TVs and monitor can even go above 60Hz, meaning a 60Hz panel can't display anything above 60 frames per second properly. Now if you got a powerful PC, you are not fully unleashing the best of what your PC can do without a 4K 120Hz panel. And with the consoles like PS5 and Xbox Series X, they are now capable of checkerboard 4K 120 high frame rate mode, the more you need a high performance TV. With the LG C1, you don't have to worry about not seeing all the frames. It doesn't use a fake 120 motion interpolation. It displays all the frames in a true 120 refresh rate. More frames per second equals smoother movements, fluid camera movements. It's not going to blow your mind if you're just playing turn-based RPGs. Yes, the colors alone in the OLED panel is worth it, but if you like FPS or action games, the LG C1 TV shows its true performance especially those buttery smooth aims. Now let's get to the most important part of gaming, latency. Input latency is the delay between your mouse clicks and how long before the TV can display the action. For example, in an FPS game, clicking the left mouse button equals to the gun firing. In a fighting game, light punches should display fast. The LG C1 has a very low input lag, especially if you choose Game Optimizer mode, which features automatic low latency that cuts any extra processing by the TV. In fact, the input latency is even better than your monitor. According to our things, 10.1 milliseconds at 4K 60Hz, 7 milliseconds at 4K 60Hz boost mode, 5.6 milliseconds at 4K 120Hz. Wow! No that this is the actual input lag latency and not the gray to gray picture latency. What? A TV better than a monitor input latency? Heck yes! Combine this with features like VRR, G-Sync or FreeSync and the latency is even lower. This LG C1 is just so great to play with. It's also capable of AGIG and Dolby Vision. Either one of these will be gaming's HDR standard and this TV supports both of it. The audio is impressive for a TV if you choose the sound preset of cinema mode. Virtual spatial audio mode like AI Sound Pro or Atmos, not so much. Well, with how slim the TV is, I wouldn't fault its tiny speaker to do Atmos or virtual surround. You'll need a dedicated speaker for that. This TV has external audio support for eARC, Bluetooth, and optical out. No 3.5mm jack out for the Philippine variants. For my 6 months of use, I didn't have any burn-in issues with my LG C1 and that is me coming from a plasma TV where image retention is so bad. I wouldn't worry about the burn-in with my daily usage. The only problem I had is with the remote, kinda difficult to press when I got it but LG support is very good that they even went to my house and replaced the remote. Now for a final verdict. Search in line for any 4K 120Hz monitor that has VRR, G-Sync, or FreeSync with HDR. You'll be surprised how expensive those monitors are, that the price is almost the same as the LG C1. And those monitors doesn't even have an OLED panel. With the LG C2 coming in fresh, you'll even see C1 at discounted prices. Buy this TV, it's not only for gaming but it's also the best for movies. LG TV gives the LG C1 the best of the best award. 